We're all familiar with the big beauty contest, Miss America, Miss World, Miss Universe, and so on, but thousands of children annually compete for present and future glory in similar contests through the nation. And Dr. Lillian Glass is going to take a total image look at this phenomenon right now. That's right, Jerry. Well, today's children are into activities that were unheard of in the past. Computer camps, tennis camps, technological communications training in their schools. But there's one thing that hasn't changed in some 50 years, to be a child star of one kind or another. Stage mothers and fathers still cast coveted eyes on stardom for their talented offspring, Take Beauty Contests. These pageants are promoted every year all over the United States. They serve as showcases for legions of would-be starlets, potential money makers for ambitious parents. Well, he won $650 worth of pizza and his sponsor wanted to enter him. And, this is and the first, bird and eggs. And this is the first year they've ever had a boys division. What is this kind of thing doing to kids? Is it harmful psychologically? Is there lasting harm? I think it's the way each uh, kid integrates the experience. For those children who feel that the parent has some wholesome attitude about what they're doing, uh, the ultimate outcome for the child as a young adult or adult may be very different than for the uh, child who's being pushed by very severely um, upset people who are hoping that this child will bring something to them that they themselves don't have. Sometimes siblings can feel left out. Has it been difficult for you? Mm-hmm. How so? She get more attention? Yeah. But whenever there are egos involved, large or small, there are problems. Is there a lot of jealousy between the girls? It's more so than manners. Explain. Usually, I don't like the children her age, they're really proud, you know, that she's won this and that, but the mothers, I, you know, I don't know what it is. Why do you think that is? I guess it's just women, I don't know. The world has gotten used to the idea of the stage mother. We asked George Esposito if he considers himself a stage father. <laughs> Are you a stage father? I sure am. <laughs> How so? Oh, I like it. As, as long as Lisa uh, is interested in it, she seems to be enjoying it. Uh, we try to tell her that it's, it's something that she must continue to enjoy, and if she doesn't, then she just should give it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a hobby with her, and it's a good part of our lives. But for the contestants, the children themselves, there's always the goal, the brass ring. What aspirations do you have for her? She wants to be Miss America someday. You think you'll be Miss America someday? I don't know. I hope so. And what happens if you lose? What's going to happen? I'll be okay. Really? How come? It's because I make a lot of friends. Is that the most important thing to you? What's been the most important thing in this pageant? Making a lot of friends. What do you want to do when you get older? Miss Universe. In Miss Universe. So what we're talking about is dreams. And obviously, for these children, it's never too early to begin to make them come true. Living out your dreams helps you to improve your total image at any age. Beautiful Jerry, <laughs> to Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Dreams there, reality.